I will be showing you a quick recipe today, but first I wanted to talk about one thing real quick. So I have been exclusively plant-based for 11 years. This August, it has been 11 years since I decided to go plant-based. I originally went vegan because of my health. Uh, my blood pressure was starting to creep up. My cholesterol was starting to creep up. I wanted to avoid all those diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, strokes. So I researched a few ways of eating and I watched some documentaries and I watched Forks Over Knives. That was the one that really did it for me when I saw how much animal products impact your health. So it pretty much happened overnight. I decided that's it, I'm going to go plant-based and I started eating tons of beans and rice and potatoes and fresh fruit and legumes and really started to feel better and my health did improve. I improved my numbers on my cholesterol and on my blood pressure. So it was really working for me. And I've gone through different phases of being plant-based. Um, I started out being, you know, a vegan, but I was eating a lot of processed foods. And then I kind of morphed into what I'm doing now, which is whole food, plant-based, no oil. So it was definitely a progression, but I haven't regretted one minute of it. Um, another side effect was I lost weight and I've been able to maintain that weight loss very easily eating lots of food, low calorie density food, and feeling satisfied, and it's just worked beautifully for me. So that's my story in a nutshell, is it's been 11 years, and I'm still alive, I'm not protein deficient, um, i thriving, couldn't be doing better. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a really quick recipe. This is something you can do with leftover mashed potatoes, I don't usually have a lot of leftover mashed potatoes because they usually get eaten by me and my husband, but I did have some leftover and I'm just going to make a really simple savory waffle and it comes together super easy and it's something that's great to do on the weekend. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to make sure that you're preheating your waffle iron. So I'm gonna let this preheat and then we're gonna put all the ingredients together for the waffles. So I start with a couple cups of leftover mashed potatoes. You could make fresh mashed potatoes, but it's just so much easier to use leftover. I did put them in the microwave for about a minute. There, it makes it easier to work with them. My mashed potato recipe is very simple. I just chopped up some Yukon Gold potatoes, boiled them in water till they were fork tender, and then I use a little bit of the cooking water and some soy milk and a little salt and just mash it all up and it's pretty basic, but it's delicious. So to this, I'm going to add, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of chopped onions. I've got about a half a cup of mashed chickpeas. I just drained some and rinsed some chickpeas and mashed them with a fork. About a half a cup of those. I have a quarter cup of riced cauliflower. This is frozen. I just let it defrost. Then I have a half a cup of steamed broccoli that I chopped up. You want the pieces kind of small. And then for seasonings, I have a quarter teaspoon each of smoked paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. If you want to add more salt, you can. There's salt in the mashed potatoes, so I think that's plenty for me. And if you think you need more seasoning, then go ahead and add more. You wanna always taste your food before you cook it, so I'll give it a taste before I put it in the waffle iron. So we're just gonna give this a good stir, mixing everything up. And you'll have a little bit of chunks from the chickpeas, which is fine. And this is delicious just like this, not even in a waffle, just to have it as a side dish. But making it into a waffle where it's crispy on the outside and it's still fluffy on the inside is delicious. So once your waffle iron is nice and hot, we're gonna add some to each little quadrant here. Maybe about a quarter cup. That one might be a little heavy, but that's okay.
and then I just kind of like to even them out. You don't want it too thick. So that it's kind of, you know, an all and even layer. All right, we're going to close this. And it's going to take at least 10 minutes, maybe longer. You see the steam, I don't know if you can see the steam, but when it stops really steaming heavily, then you know it's done. But I would check it at 10, and then if it's not quite crispy enough, then go ahead and do it for another few minutes. Okay, we'll let this cook, and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The steaming has really slowed down, so let's check it out. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's a little tricky getting these out sometimes, just I'm not gonna lie. So sometimes you just have to finagle it. And if they really don't wanna come out, then that means they are not done. But I feel like this, oh yeah, here we go. Well, I think we're doing this in two pieces. Ooh, baby, ooh. Okay, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Scoop this over. Okay, now these are beautiful. Look how crispy, mm. All right, then what I usually do is I just drizzle them with a little bit of my plant-based cheese sauce. You could do whatever you'd like. I mean, you could even do ketchup, but I don't know, it's savory. I guess french fries are savory and you put ketchup. I don't know. Whatever you feel. All right, let's give these a taste. All right, my friends, we have waffles made out of potatoes. I just wanted to get it apart. You can see a little piece of broccoli in there. So this is good. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, nothing better. This is a great use for your leftover mashed potatoes. So being plant-based doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be boring. This waffle is proof of that. Use your imagination. You can come up with all kinds of different combos. You could use sweet potatoes. The possibilities are endless. So if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with waffles, and that way I know you made it to the end with me, and I really appreciate you sticking to the end with me. And if you like this video, if you got value, if it helped you in some way, if you got an idea from it, please hit the like button. And you're gonna find whole food plant-based recipes, no oil on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. I will leave links below to the recipe and to all my resources for my newsletter, for my e-guide, for my Facebook group, and I hope you check those all out. Don't be afraid to go plant-based. Not only will you survive, you will thrive. It will be the best decision that you ever make in your life. That's why all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. I just need, hold on. So signing off from an 11 year old planet and what you put on your fate, oh my God. Then I have a half a cup or so of chopped parsley, new. No.